back. Well, I didn't do what I said. I didn't make my plan. I don't have my notebook all set up for my to-do list. I was very bad. Um, I had some time before my tennis lesson. That's why I look gross like this, but I had a little time. So I stopped at my cute little neighborhood, like country store where they sell a lot of Vera Bradley stuff. I was like, well, wouldn't it be nice if I had a Vera Bradley journal to write my to-do notes in? I mean, I know I have a nice selection, obviously. I couldn't help myself. I went in and I'm terrible. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm gonna show you what I got, my country neighborhood store haul. So, I got some nice things. I got, first of all, this. Vera Bradley Notebook, and it says, Notebook with perforated line sheets, pocket, bookmark, and labels. So it's wrapped in the plastic still, because I'm not sure I'm keeping it, so I'm not going to undo it. But um, you can see in the back, it comes with little labels that match, and this is the little um, bookmark, and I guess you just like, because it's this kind of um, spiral binding, it like slides in. I thought that was really cute. It's like, it's different, you know? And I like how big it is, so maybe this wouldn't be my to-do list, um, notebook per se, but maybe it could be my, like, big overall planning book. Because when I tend to, like, reorganize big, do, like, big projects, like my craft room, my garage, my, you know, whatever, kitchen cabinets, I like to draw it out. I, like, actually draw things to scale or, you know, I'll, like, ske make sketches of what I want or make, like, charts and I'm... I'm a little nuts, as you can tell. Anyway, I thought this was cute. And look how cute the print is for summer. Very cute. Now, to match that, I got this. And it is a magnetic personality journal with lined pages, ribbon, bookmark, and magnetic closure. Now, I know I said I wanted a um, spiral notebook, but this was... I like how this closes because it keeps it neat. And it doesn't get all, like... If I want something that I can look back on and kind of like archive, this will keep it nice and neat. And it's so pretty. Look look how pretty. And it might be hard to see, but the inside pages have this, this is like a sample of what it looks like. And they have this little um, hot air balloon. And I just thought it was so cute for summer. So that's why I got that. And then to go with it, these are the Vera Bradley Forget Me Knots, 200 sticky notes in four sizes. I mean, come on, I cannot not buy an organizational sticky note thing that matches the whole collection. So if you see, it's got a big pad, and then the, these are two like smaller pads, and then these are the individual like little flag sizes that you just stick on the ends of the pages. And I like this, I mean, I have a million and one sticky notes, I'm not gonna lie, but these are pretty, but I like that it all matches. And this kind of like helps inspire you to keep on point with your system. Like this, having these things makes it more fun. You know what I mean? Now, of course, I couldn't stop right there because I saw these pencils and I almost died. They were so cute. These are the Vera Bradley pencil box, 10 number two pencils and pencil sharpener. And you can see there's the sharpener, and then the pencils are all different, but they're the same pattern, and they come in this cute box that matches. So cute. But I also bought the Vera Bradley quilted pencil holder because I might use it for something else or I might return it. I'm one of those people who buys things because I'll stand in the store for like 20 minutes looking at two things and I can't decide. Um, so. There's that. Now, I'm really terrible because I bought the, all the same stuff in another pattern because I couldn't decide which one I liked better. But then I was thinking that would make a really, really nice gift and I like to have extra gifts on hand. And I could even break it up and make it into like two or three smaller gifts. So I bought the whole um, bag of stuff in this print. I just thought it was really pretty. I'm really into purple this year. It's a little more folly, so if I like get through that whole collection by the end of summer, which I highly doubt, but I could use this if I like that system. I could use this when I run out of pages in those, but I honestly don't know if that's going to happen. So I might return these. I might use these instead of that one, or I could give them away. But the whole reason I bought this pattern, and this is this is really kind of lame, but 
So the magnetic closure journal, you know, it has a sample of what the pages are in the back. It's a cupcake. Do you see that? That is a cupcake. I love to bake. Okay, I'm organizational, whatever, like crazy. I love to craft. I'm very crafty. My third passion is to bake. I hate cooking. I hate it. I love baking. And trust me, if I could eat cake and pie instead of food, I would cook every meal from scratch because I love baking. Anyway, that's that. Then, on my way back from tennis, very naughty, I went to Staples. Now, it's, you know, mid-July, and they started rolling out, like, the back-to-school supplies. You guys, I'm 27. I haven't been in school for five-plus years. Um, five and a half, to be exact. I graduated a semester early. But I love school supplies, and... I always have like backup things of all my favorite pens and stuff, even though I'm not in school, but I write a lot of things down. I end up going through pens and things. So um, I went in mainly to buy folders because they didn't have any lily pulps or folders I matched, and I thought that would be good to like put like magazine clippings and things in of things that, you know, would uh, go with my organizational ideas. So I did buy some folders. I like these because they're, um, they're not paper, they're like some more durable uh, material and they were really inexpensive. I thought this kind of matched the, the first collection, the first Vera Bradley collection I showed you. And then I bought the other ones because I use them for traveling. I put like our travel documents in them and things like that. Keeps it neat. So I bought those. And then I bought these tabs as I was discussing in my last video. These are great because they just like stick right on any page you want and I think you can move them around and, and you write on the edge what you want the tab to say. So you, it's not like in one place, like some binders and folders you buy or notebooks, they're stuck in one place and you can't just choose where this goes. So this is kind of nice and they came in cute colors, pink, um, green, and orange. So there's that. And of course, just what I need, like a hole in the head. I bought some more pens. These are Uniball um, Signo pens. They're like a roller gel, but they're in all cute rainbow colors. So I like color coding things, if you couldn't guess that. And then, I know I was talking about this in my last video, but the recycled post-it note super sticky notes. I realized when I showed you guys that last little pad I had for um, my grocery store list, that was it. That was all I had, and there's like two sheets stuck on it. I can't believe I let myself get so low in spots. But I found more, and these are cute. They're a little more, um, less bright colors. They're like blue, pink, and green, and it's this size. Uh, four by six is like a, you know, a photo size. And that's what I usually use for the grocery store list. I don't know, I've been using those half-size ones that I showed earlier because, um, that's all I had. Left. And then, they, I hadn't seen these before. These are like a bigger size. These are um, 5 by 8 And this will come in handy when I want to, and I can stick these, like actually put these in with my um, Vera Bradley notebook collection because this will help me make lists for the stores, like if I need to go to the container store or Target or whatever to pick up organizational stuff. So, I didn't post the video I said I was going to post about the notebook. I guess that'll be next. This is quite a process, but that's my country, you know, corner store haul and my staples, a totally unnecessary um, school supply haul, but I'll show you what I decide on. I mean, it is possible I'm that kind of person that I'll return all of that and I'll just stick with what I already had, but um, like I said, sometimes it's nice to have new things that really excite you, like this to help you do something that you've been putting off for a while because it seems overwhelming or you've been anxious or whatever and that this kind of stuff like motivates me so if I need to spend a little money to like get started and actually jump start this whole process which I've been putting off for like three years then you know why not go with it so that's that's my idea anyway um I will post my video when I finally do the um, notebook to-do list as I had promised and I hope this isn't too long, but I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.